was just like, how have we got into a position, with all due respect, yeah, of <laughs> Arsenal Football Club, yeah, having a worse squad than Leicester City. Leicester City are the current <laughs> FA Cup holders. They've won a league title know. five years ago. Not even, what, five, four or five years ago? Yeah. Yeah, five. And 2016. You won the, you won the glorified soccer aid the other day. <laughs> um, that our fans made out that Arteta had done a double on. Yeah, but don't forget when Man City win it, it's a trophy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> when Arsenal win it, it's a trophy, apparently. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's a charity game. Yeah, and it's like, how have Leicester like, gone through <laughs> buying <laughs> youngsters like Kante and um, I think Mahrez? It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it, you got to remember, though, um, the old Leicester before this King Power ownership, you know, that's is a completely different different entity now. Um, th- their vision for, for this club is is surpass what the the size of the city I think in their eyes um, mm. it's it's amazing to see what Leicester are achieving right now um, but uh, uh, this season is going to be mental if, if especially if we can hang on to every single player because we, we keep reading rumours that Ovi Barnes might end up going Liverpool um, he's due to sign his contract for four years at Leicester still but I don't know if that's going to give us more money if he does go or, or, or I don't know what the plan is there but um I'm surprised we've kept everyone. I'll mm. be honest. I am surprised. Right. Yeah, I am. And the, and the thing is, you've done really good business in terms of your income in Samo- uh, Samare. Um, yeah, yeah. You've got um, uh, Pat Zendaka up front, good young yeah. player. Yeah. Com- yeah, decent price on both of them as well. And it's like, I'm looking at I'm looking at Samara and I'm thinking, well, why didn't we go for him? You've yeah, already... I, I see that on Twitter though. Like, you know, like if if you boys signed it, it would be like, what what was Arsenal doing signing these nobodies? You know, but when Leicester do it, it's it's like, whoa, look at them doing great business. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe you just no, seen it, maybe need to open your eyes a bit more and 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 realize that you can get players from nowhere and pull them from nowhere and produce quality. Fact, you done you done it with my boy Mares, mate. Come on, you got him for what three hundred yeah, grand, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Although we have pulled some stinkers out, you know that people forget. You know, like Ron Zyla, who was a goalkeeper for during the Champions League uh, season uh, after we'd won the league, and um, Hernandez, and there's a few other players as well that just didn't quite make it. You know, and I could I could go on, but it's like there is a there is a few that come through, but. That's the thing. You, you sometimes you you do play a gamble, and uh, unfortunately, it don't pay off. Listen, I, I've been struggling for the last four weeks with this whole COVID stuff. I've had long COVID for a bit, so if I sound big no, like, up to you, man. Hope you're happy. It's man. because I'm literally I've been listening to you for about the last I don't know <laughs> how long you've been on, and um, I, I I'm in and out all the time, napping all day and stuff. It's it's crap. No, that's not good, man. No, listen, I, I hope you recover properly, man. That's mad. Yeah, yeah. Who have you got on the weekend? You got Chelsea and you. <laughs> yeah. Then we've got Man City away. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're, literally, the fixtures are laughing at you. I'm assuming it's home away, home away, home away. Ha, ha, 100%, ha, 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 yeah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> then we've got international break, and then I think we've got Norwich and Burnley. <laughs> like, yeah. And Burnley, Burnley got four points off of us last season, courtesy of Granite Xhaka cock-ups, getting sent off in one game and passing... Oh. Straight to their striker for the next game. Oh like, God! Yeah. We've, we've got West Ham on Monday night next week. We have, um, and they they put six passes last season uh, back. You know, in both games they put three each in each game. So I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest. Yeah. No, the thing the thing is though, like you've got um, Europa League this season as well, in you? When's the yeah. draw? For- yeah, so are they. I'm still waiting for the the news for that, but the ticket prices are insane. You can get all three games uh, of uh, for for about sixty nine quid, which is like what twenty three twenty three quid a game. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Mate, but, you should try and do a couple of the aways as well if you can. The away uh, Europa League games are quality, man. Yeah, but you got to have your bloody jabs and all that. I ain't got I ain't got none of them yet. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, flipping hell, or you got to do testing. Oh yeah, I didn't even yeah, think of that, so, mate. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. of a palaver, isn't it? It is yeah, a bit of a plug. Is. Give me a give me a prediction for where Le- uh, Leicester finish this season. Uh, I think they'll aim for top six again. But realistically, if we're going to hold on to players like Ndidi, um, uh, we really need to get Champions League football desperately. But I don't think I don't know if we've quite got the oomph to get over the top four. But I'm going to be ambitious and say fourth. I'm going to be ambitious. I don't think it's going to happen. But that's I, I want fourth, and I think. We might just get that. Might 
I, I think the I think the biggest thing for Leicester, like Vardy's what thirty five now. Uh, thirty four going on thirty five. Because so am I. I'm nearly thirty five. <laughs> that's mad. Yeah. But yeah, see, I think that's yeah, where I'm, you're. I'm a bit older than him. I'm a bit older than him. I think he's. I think I'm September. And he's January. So yeah, he's thirty four. Yeah, so th- that's mad because like you've obviously got um Iniacho as well, and then you've signed um Dakar. That's yeah. where I, that's where I think you'll just miss out on top four though because I think. Vardy last season wasn't the Vardy of the season before. Like, but, he's still, lot, yeah, still a shit-house player. I fucking realize, love him, man. A lot of people <laughs> didn't realise, though, that Vardy had an operation mid-season. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you see? That's what I'm saying. That's that's not covered in the in the casual Twitter idiots. That's not covered. That's just, oh, he's a, he's, he's a one-season window. He's, oh, he's, he's, he's gone. Oh, no, he's Vardy's finished. class, man. Vardy's and quality. He, he, it's yeah. not that. He had an operation mid-season. He had an operation. Mm. <laughs> but that's not covered. That's not covered anywhere. It's 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 like if you're Leicester. It's because fan, it's know, Leicester City, though. That's what Leicester it is. Fan, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's because it's Leicester. If it was Man United, it'd be covered, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But do you know what? I suppose in a way that does Leicester a favour because it's oh, like, well, yeah, yeah, it's good that we go under under the radar, so to speak, yeah. in terms of that. But what I don't like is when the transfers window opens, then we're not under the radar. We are on the fucking radar because everyone apparently wants to radar club. <laughs> I'm so I, I can't lie. I'm surprised indeed he's still there. Yeah, especially with you signing Samari. I, well, yeah. I, I went into a Twitch stream because he, he's a Twitch gamer. I don't know if you know that or not, but I jumped into his Twitch stream yesterday and asked him a question. And I said, "Are you still studying at the DMU, which is the Dumont University in Leicester?" And he said, "He's still got another twelve month course, which probably means he's going to stay in Leicester, right, to make it easy for himself." Yeah, he could end up at the Villa. <laughs> yeah, it's going to <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> well, they got Grealish money, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, that's class, man. How's your channel going? Yeah, I'm not too bad. I've just got to 13.3k. Um, trying my absolute best, but uh, I've, like I said, I've been really struggling the last four weeks with this COVID crap. So it's kind of put me uh, on a bit of a downer, but I'm doing the watch along, still got the good graphics and stuff. Trying to sort of somewhere in between sort of realistic and sort of uh, that's football slash Goldbridge type stuff. So, yeah, it's quite mm. cool. It's going on all right, but I could do with a boost, but I don't know where I'm going to get that boost from. <laughs> well, I'll try and help you as much as you can, mate. There's 244 people listening to this. So go and subscribe to Lee Chappie right oh, now. Oh, man, that's sound. Yeah, come on. And when we play, we'll do a preview, yeah? Yeah, that'll be banging. And we'll have a beer while we do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We're, and we'll both be doing watch along. So I'll probably uh, jump on yours at half time and uh, cry that you're falling in love. <laughs> that'd be sick. <laughs> uh, nice one, man. Nice speaking to you, mate. Take yeah, care. Take it easy. Have a good weekend, mate. And you, mate. Bye, mate.